is uh, joining us again with more of your Facebook reaction to the controversy surrounding a six-year-old transgender uh, child and what should be done. Yes, see, there's this Colorado school won't allow a six-year-old to use the girls' bathroom. That's because Coy Mathis was born a boy. We really started noticing around about 18 months. Do you say that in a boy when I'm only a girl? She just kept crying and said that she was so scared because she was going to grow up and she would have a beard and she would have a hairy chest and everyone would know that she was born a boy. Coy's parents accepted that Coy's school had an issue with it when the question of bathrooms came up. Coy wanted to use the girls' room. The school said no, saying they had to consider the other kids. The school said Coy could use other restrooms, but not the girls' restroom. Now a discrimination complaint has been filed against the school district. Here's what you're saying on Facebook. So many of you responding from Kathy. Why do the needs of the few outweigh the needs of the many? Obviously, this is an unusual situation, and allowances have been made by the school to accommodate this one child with their issue. Why should the rest of the students at the school be put at the disadvantage? Patrick says, I do not see why this little boy who identifies as a female cannot use the female restroom. Honestly, we do not have boy and girl restrooms at home. They should make all bathrooms multi-gender and just put stalls with the doors for the privacy matter that all of us would like. So much reaction, Steve, and not all of it friendly. Uh, Robert Sachs is joining us right now. This case is really interesting to you. It's really interesting, and this reaction is what's really interesting to me because that reaction is the best uh, barometer for what would happen in a jury. You know, this is the time that the comments actually do matter. I mean, these really strong opinions show that there are people who are very likely to have strong opinions about this. But, but, but on both sides. On, on both sides, but the comments seem to be from where, and I've been analyzing them over a variety of different websites, different okay. places. Right. Of the ones we've read, and we may be doing sometimes on the one hand, on the other hand. Right, we're good at they that. Because kind they of, they kind of mix. You're saying it's running more. It seems that there's not a, a lot of um, support for this family and for this kid. The, the overwhelming question that keeps coming up over and over in the comments that I've been reading has been, how is it that a child at 18 months old knows what gender to identify with and that only could have any kind of gender identification due to the suggestion of a parent? And so that's at the crux of this. So they're painting the parents as the provocateurs in this, responsible for the kid's gender identity, among other things? That's right. That's right. Okay. And, and there is something to be said about that. I mean, at 18 months old, I don't know that you really know what you are, who you are in any way. But you know, I've said this earlier. We've talked to a lot of people who said, I knew when I was three or four that I, wa I wasn't who I was supposed to be. That, that may be true, but to, but at 18 months still, and to use that as the basis and then to put the kid out there mm -hmm. on camera as we saw so, the video. So am I also getting your reaction to this? <laughs> You're getting a little bit of my reaction, although I don't know. I, I'm, I'm somewhat torn. I'll tell you, I'm somewhat torn. The comments are somewhat torn, mm -hmm. but I'll tell you what's even more torn. What? The law. <laughs> the oh, law is the torn. The, the law, law doesn't know what to do with this. The law's an ass, as you the say. The law's an ass. In Maine, it's going one way. In New York, it's going another way, right? That's right. Well, wait, you have to be Solomon to come. We've not dealt with this issue before and the complexities of it. We, right. ha we have it, and the bathrooms are just a unique area uh, anyway, uh, uh, yeah. because bathrooms are have been a huge place of where discrimination began. I mean, if you think about uh, racial discrimination, it began with you know African Americans couldn't use a bathroom, bathroom water fountain. Uh, and yeah, those kinds of things. Sure. So the bathroom issue is is a big issue. And then there's the question of whether the law has been split as to whether or not gender identification is uh, could be seen as a form of discrimination or not. And, and Is this full-time employment this, for lawyers? This could be full-time employment for lawyers. Lots of passion behind it. Though. Okay. Imagine this, a month-long trip.